Hello, everybody. Welcome to Blueberry. We are happy that you decided to spend this evening with us. My name is Jirka, and I'm your host of this meetup. For this meetup, we have two innovations. First of them, as you probably noticed, <laughs> at least I hope so, the meetup is in English. Although I skipped many English lessons, it won't matter. The second innovation I will reveal in a few moments. We've prepared three talks about our internal projects because we believe this, that there is something to share with you. Firstly, I will talk about the general idea of internal project in Blueberry. Secondly, our developer, Onzi Matejka, will describe how our project works together. And last but not least, we will discover ReasonML in action with Nikola Ponovic. Yes, yes, Nikola Ponovic doesn't sound like a typical Czech name. And that's true, because Nikola is our developer from Serbia. Actually, we have a small branch there. Nikola and six of his colleagues collaborate with us from the lovely Serbian city called Novi Sad. And here we have the second innovation. Nikola will stream his talk from Serbia. Let me introduce myself. I've been at Blueberry since 2010, so this is my eighth year in Blueberry. Currently, I'm a part of leadership, and I'm working as a product owner also. I was working with clients for seven years. I was managing websites, mostly, for seven years. Seven years I was listening to the same shit again. We want a website like Atlas. The green one should be more green and obligatory. Can you make my logo bigger? And as I said, same shit again and again. And I was close to quitting. And this is the beginning of the story, the new era of internal projects in Blueberry. Yeah, because I shared my frustration with our co-founders and they came up with a brilliant idea. You can be in charge of internal projects. There are no clients. They told me, sure, great, I'm in. On this stage, after a year, I can share one secret with you. There were clients, my colleagues and my bosses. But back to the internal projects. We supported them from the early beginnings. And I have example how we did it. Please raise your hand if you are a Slack user. Cool, cool, that helps you to imagine it. This is a fragment of communication that actually happened a year ago. One of our developers was asking for permission to create our own Slack version. And the reaction of our manager was, whatever. And also the developer was asking to use something else than Jira. And our reaction was, whatever. Developer was promising to deliver our Slack version within two weeks, the minimum viable products. What? Slack? Slack version within two weeks? Reaction of our manager was whatever. And of course, don't forget to write some blog post about it. Of course, I'm exaggerating a bit, but that's the perfect illustration. As I mentioned, we were supporting them. But last year, we realized that the support is just not enough. We didn't have a vision, goals, guidelines, or processes. It was my job to fix it now. I had an interview with almost everyone who was involved with internal projects, hackathon, and other open source projects at Blueberry before. Based on these, uh, the results of the interview, expectations of leadership, developers, HR, and my own idea, I came up with guidelines. Firstly, I started with definition of project by purpose. And now we have three categories. Money-driven projects, growth-driven projects, and learning-driven projects. Why? Because we need very different point of view for something what generates revenue and something that is supposed to teach us. Money-driven projects have quite a simple goal. They should generate revenue. 
This type of project has defined a budget, long-term strategy, and dedicated team and support via online marketing. In this category, we have only one project so far. But on the other hand, this project is quite popular. It's Factura Online. Is your invoice fast and safely? Second type of projects are growth-driven. These projects are quite similar to the money-driven one. They have long-term strategy, budget, and dedicated teams as well. But their primary goal is to generate leads or help us to maintain our daily agenda. We have several of them. For example, our website, Blueberry.io, we generate leads, business leads, or our Cardi website, which help us to attract potential colleagues, or our internal system for issuing invoice, our cheddar called cheddar. We use the system once a month, but we have a nice and wide smile. Last, and most interesting category are learning driven projects. The biggest issue that we faced was lack of challenging projects mostly because we were limited by client requirements and deadlines. It was right time to strike with the learning-driven projects. We have defined rules for these type of projects. I will show you the most crucial from my point of view. New technology or approach, this should be logical. If you want to learn something, it should be something new. It doesn't matter if it's whole new language, stack, or just different approach. Low level scope is necessary because we usually have short time frame and limited resources. And we don't want to end up with a bunch of unfinished projects. We don't want to reinvent wheel. Spending money on creating something that is possible to get for free or buy for reasonable money doesn't make sense for us. I didn't want to split up existing teams or create new one just for the internal projects. I want to get profit by letting the existing teams solve this type of projects. It helps with team spirit, knowledge base, ownership, and commitment. And finally, every single learning driven project was made with one key idea. Let's make our life in Blueberry more entertaining. I'm calling it Blueberry's universe. Set of microservices fitting together like a puzzle. During this year, we broke those rules many times and we lost the way. But it's important that we set those rules and we know how to get back on that way. Okay guys, you just heard how we deal with internal projects. I want you to think about your internal projects. How would your perfect project look like? Which technology you would like to try? And how would you set your goals? Thanks for listening.